Welcome to this course on mastering shear force and bending moment diagrams. This course has been designed to help you develop the tools and techniques required to reliably construct shear force and bending moment diagrams. I'm Dr. Sean Carroll. I'm a chartered engineer, a fellow of the Higher Education Academy here in the UK, and I'm a lecturer in structural engineering. Now, one of the biggest difficulties I see when working with students on a daily basis is their difficulty in accurately and reliably constructing bending moment and shear force diagrams. Now, these are some of the first things you have to do before you ever start designing a structure, and an awful lot of students stumble at this first hurdle. After completing this course, you'll be able to accurately and reliably construct the shear force and bending moment diagram for any statically determinate structure. So the tools and techniques that you're going to pick up during this course will be an asset to you through literally your entire engineering career. We'll start by establishing a basic understanding of how the shear force and bending moment in a structure relate to the state of stress in the structure. Really what we're trying to do here is understand what it is the shear force and bending moment diagram are telling me about the structure. Then we'll move on to determine the differential relationships that relate the loading on the structure to the shear force in the structure, and then the relationship that ties the shear force to the bending moment. Understanding these relationships is really the key to being able to accurately and reliably determine the bending moment and shear force diagram. After that, we'll focus on application and we'll use problem-based learning to work our way through some worked examples. Here, you're really going to be cementing everything that you've learned up until this point. Finally, we'll map what we've done for beam structures onto frame type structures. So we'll construct some shear force and bending moment diagrams for structural frames. This course is ideally suited to any engineering student in more or less any discipline of engineering. Similarly, if you've not yet embarked on a program of study in engineering, which you're about to, completing this course would give you an excellent head start. But most of all, if you've found yourself stumped when it comes to analyzing simple structures and determining shear forces and bending moments, or if your structural analysis knowledge is not where you'd like it to be, or not where you know it should be, well then you should definitely give some consideration to investing some time in completing this course. So with all that said, let's crack on with mastering shear force and bending moment diagrams.